Hi everyone! This tutorial is going to show you how to join as you go with the solid granny squares and granny triangles. This tutorial follows the pattern for the pixel perfect shawl which will be linked below. Um, so I have here the same yarn that I had used in the pattern which is a DK weight and I have my five millimeter hook or size H. You're going to need to use whatever hook size you needed to obtain the correct gauge for the pattern or that is suitable to your yarn. It'll work either way. So I'm going to assume that you know all your basic stitches and we'll just quickly breeze through the actual process of the join as you go. Um, if I am going too fast, you can tap on the screen here and there should be three dots up in the corner. Um, click on those and you can slow back your slow down the playback speed. So let's get started. So if you're following along with the pattern, then you're going to start with a triangle. Okay, so normally I would sew in my ends, but I have them loose here because I'm probably going to save the yarn and do something else with it. So you start with your first triangle and complete all four rounds. Okay, that's the only uh, motif or triangle or square or anything that you complete in its entirety in the, in the whole pattern. Every single one there afterwards is going to be joined to the previous one. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to start in the top right hand corner of the pattern and I like to work across the row and then do the next row. Um, for the purposes of this tutorial I'm just going to be doing a couple so I'm going to do the triangle square square and then two more underneath just to show you how they all go together. Um, I am starting with the colored version um, just because I liked the yarn and I didn't have enough of the uh, the swish bear to film a tutorial with so I'm using the colored one but note that if you are following the pattern the colored squares are actually on the left side of the pattern so you'll be starting out with you know cream or whatever color you chose for that right side of the pixel perfect shawl okay so I have my triangle made and I've done the first three rounds one two three of my first square okay and I've chained two and now I'm ready to join it to my first triangle here okay so what we're going to do is we're going to work to this first corner here so I'm just going to complete this granny cluster by putting two double crochets in there and then I'm going to do the first half of this corner so I'm going to do three double crochets and then I'm going to chain one, okay? Now I'm going to join to the bottom corner of this triangle. So in the bottom corner of this triangle, you will notice that there is three double crochets and a chain three or a double crochet. You're going to join in between those last two here, okay? Let me get my needle out so you can see. You're going to join in here. So we're going to insert our hook front to back, yarn over, and slip stitch. Okay, so we're going to be working up the side, across the top, and back down and around. So now that I've attached it, I'm going to chain one, and I'm going to finish off this corner on my square by putting in three double crochet. Now I'm going to work by slip stitching this square to the triangle up to the top. So in my next space over here on my triangle, I'm going to insert my hook front to back and slip stitch together. Then I'm going to complete the three double crochets needed on my square. Going to do that same thing I'm going to slip stitch into the next space on my triangle and then I'm going to do my three double crochets on my square into the next space between your clusters here on the triangle slip stitch and then we're going to work the first half of this corner okay so we're going to do three double crochet one two three, chain one, and then you're going to slip stitch into the corner of the triangle and chain one again. 
Now you can finish this corner on your square by putting in the three double crochets needed there. Okay, let's pull back and see what we've done. So we have our triangle. Okay, this is the top right hand corner of the shawl and we have attached our first square. Okay, now we work the square as per usual, just putting your three double crochets into each space along the top and just finish off that square as if it were a normal granny square. Okay, so three double crochets into each space between clusters here. And then you're going to do your corner just like you would normally. So three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Chain one. Okay, into the next space, you work your three double crochet. We're gonna go down the side of the square here into the next space, you're going to work three more double crochet. You should be on your last corner now. Okay, and we're going to work three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Okay, you should have one space to fill on this side. You're going to put three double crochets into that space. And then you're going to join your round with a slip stitch into the top of the first double crochet, not into that chain two. All right, join and fasten off. So if you look at your square, there you have it. The first two joined together. Okay. Now I have my next square already done three rounds. I should mention that if you're using a hand dyed yarn, um, for mine I needed four skeins. I caked up all four skeins and I mixed them up. So I did a motif from one skein and then a motif from another skein and I mixed them all up because there was a lot of variation. So you can see here that this square is very green compared to this square, which is purple. They were all the same colorway, but it's a hand dyed yarn. So you're gonna get lots of variation depending on what kind of color it is. So I wanted to make sure that it kind of had an even look to it. I didn't want the top to be like completely purple and then for the next little bit of my shawl to be like all green colors. So I mixed them all up and I made sure that I was using all four of my skeins evenly. Okay, so that's just something to keep in mind if you're using a hand dyed yarn for yours. You should kick them all up and use them at the same time. Okay, so we're about to join our next square right along here. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing I did with the first one, the exact same process. Okay, I'm going to complete my cluster here by putting in two double crochets. And then I'm going to do my first half of the corner. Okay, so I have three double crochets, chain one. I'm going to join into the bottom corner of this square here. So I'm going to find my chain one space. There it is. I'm going to insert my hook front to back. Okay, making sure that your yarn is behind and slip stitch together. Chain one. And then you're going to finish off this corner by putting in three double crochets. Okay. So let's pull back and see what we did there. We joined a square to the corner over here and we're gonna be working up the side of both squares. So you're gonna slip stitch to the previous one while completing the stitches on your working one. So in the next space between clusters, I'm going to insert my hook from front to back, yarn over and slip stitch those together. And then in my next space here, I'm going to be working three double crochet. Okay, into my next space. 
slip stitch, and then three double crochets on your working square. Slip stitch, and then the first three double crochets of this corner on your working square. Chain one, and then you wanna slip stitch it into your shawl here in this top corner, chain one space, okay? And then chain one, and you can finish this corner and the rest of the square as per normal or as per usual. So you put in your three double crochets to finish off that corner. Okay, pull back, have a look at what we did. Okay, so that is joined completely and now you can finish the round, the remainder of the square. So I'm just gonna work along with you guys. Might as well. <laughs> let you all get caught up because <laughs> I know someone's going, oh, you're going too fast. <laughs> and it's okay to pause the video. I get it. It's very, very okay to pause the video. Get caught up and then continue on. So I'm not doing anything fancy, I'm just finishing the remainder of the round on this granny square. So I'm putting my three double crochets along the side into each space. And then in my corners, I'm doing three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Okay. I have one more space here to do. And then I'm going to join the round by slip stitching into the top of the first double crochet, not into that chain two, okay? Get in there. There we go. And then you fasten off. And weave in those ends as you go. I mean, if you wanna to torture yourself and do it at the end of your project, that's entirely up to you, but don't recommend. I am not doing them as I go, just because I'm probably gonna take all of this out and save the gorgeous yarn for another project or a scrappy blanket or something because you can't let that go to waste, can we? No, sir. Okay, okay. So you're going to continue on adding all of the squares following the pattern along the top row of your shawl. And then when you're done doing that, exact same way that we did these ones, um, we're going to join our next triangle down here. So, we kind of have to flip it a little bit, okay? We have to flip it upside down for a moment here. And I've got the first one, two, three rounds of my triangle, okay? It goes like this. And so make sure that you're getting oriented correctly, okay? So we want to have, if I just show you, we want to have our triangle joined like this, okay? So I just find if I flip my work a little bit, it makes it a little easier. What we wanna do is make sure that we always join into our diagonal corner. Maybe it will be better if I show you this way. I always wanna join my yarn in the diagonal corner. Okay, so you wanna find one, two, three. That was your granny cluster, okay, on your triangle. And then there's that, that extra double crochet or the chain three. Okay, and you wanna join in that space. That's technically your corner on your triangle. Okay, so you're going to slip stitch there, chain one, and then you're gonna work your triangle as per usual. Okay, so we're going to put our three double crochets into that space between the chain three and the first double crochet. Okay, can you see that there? So I've put my three double crochet in there. And then I'm going to slip stitch to the next space over here and then work three double crochets on my triangle. Getting my knot out of the way. Okay, you slip stitch into the next space over here 
and then we complete the three double crochets on your triangle. Slip stitch, three double crochets. Then we're gonna chain one, because we're at the corner here, okay? So we've done the first half of our corner, and we're going to go into the diagonal square, okay? Slip stitch into that diagonal square and chain one. Then we're going to finish off the three double crochets in the corner of that triangle or the peak of the triangle. Okay, and then you just complete your triangle as usual, putting three double crochets down the side of it. Okay, and I'll put another three in this space here. And then when I get here, I'm just going to do three double crochets in that last space that we that we have here. So my three double crochets. And then we need that fourth one that acts as the chain three or that keeps our sides nice and straight. Okay, and then you fasten off. So there you have it. Okay, now you can actually start to see it form. So I'll do one more square here to show you how those corners come together because remember, we're always wanting to go into the diagonal one and that's what keeps them together. If you go into the one beside it, then you're not gonna have a tight joined corner. It'll actually just have a big hole in the middle and it won't come together. I don't know if you can visualize that or not, but you'll know if you do it because your shawl will come apart. <laughs> so you always wanna go into the diagonal. That's the most important part. So I have here, let's push this to the side here. I have here another three rounds on my square. And we're going to finish this cluster here with two double crochets and then the first half of this corner. So the exact same way we've done all the other squares up until this point, chain one and we wanna join into our triangle. The corner of our triangle is actually the space that we create in between our three double crochets and that last one there, okay? So we join in between there. And then chain one. And then finish off the corner on your square with three double crochets. Now we're just gonna work straight up the side of this triangle here by slip stitching to the triangle and working our three double crochets in the next space on the side of the square. Okay, slip stitch. We're going to do the first half of this corner here with three double crochets, chain one, and now we're going to go into the diagonal square. Okay, so this one here. So we're going to go into that chain one space, slip stitch, chain one, finish off the corner on your working square by putting three double crochets in. And then I'm just going to pull back and let's see what we've done. Okay, so we have our square, our triangle. We've joined it to the adjacent one. So this one's joined to that one. This one's joined to that one in the corners. So your corner's nice and tight. Okay, and then we're going to work along this edge here. Okay. So we're going to slip stitch into this square, the space on this square. And just complete the three double crochets in the next space on your working square. Real easy. Get my tail out of the way there. Into the next space, we are going to slip stitch and work your three double crochets into the next space on your working square. Slip stitch, three double crochets. 
slip stitch, three double crochet. That's the name of the game. So we've done the first half of this corner, chain one, and we're going to join it to this corner here. So if you're at the end of your row, and it's a triangle, it's going to be a triangle here. Okay, so you join, I should mention because I know someone's going to ask. So let's pretend that we've joined the entire row, we've gone all the way along. Now we have to join that last triangle in the far left hand corner, right? So you're going to work your three rounds of the triangle. Okay, you're going to work your chain three, and then you're going to slip stitch into the bottom corner here. Okay, and then you're going to work your three double crochets into your triangle and then slip stitch all the way along to get to the top. And then you're going to finish the corner of the triangle and the one side. Okay, that's it. So it's super easy. And then on the last row, you're going to be joining to the bottom, technically to the bottom of a triangle. So right here, I have only a square because I didn't finish off if I did an entire row in another triangle this would be too long of a tutorial but right now I'm just slip stitching to a square because it's what's here when you're at the actual end of the row on your shawl it's going to be a triangle because you're going to go into your diagonal motif okay so just remember you're always joining into the diagonal whenever it's available if it's not available then just beside into the square. Don't, don't overthink it. <laughs> so I'm going to finish off this square doing the same thing I did in all of them. So three double crochets in each space. In your corners, three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So I'm like doing my last three here, and then I join my round with a slip stitch into the top of that first official double crochet, not the chain two. Okay, and then cut your yarn. So there you have it. You should be able to complete the entire shawl now with the information that I just gave you, showed you. All right, remember that the next row, you're going to be going in one square and it'll be a triangle down here. And then you just watch it grow. So I hope this tutorial was helpful. Again, message me if you have any questions. I'm always available and happy crocheting everyone. Bye.